good day it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm uh, let me show you a neat little tool used in the lab quite a bit called bit twist and it's uh, kind of neat it's a uh, it's it's advertised here as a packet generator but you can also use it to edit trace files now I personally have not used it to edit trace files but there's all sorts of notes and documentation on how people have done that so all I use it for is to take a trace file from the field and play it back in the office uh, usually for me it's to see how other tools report those conversations or protocols so in this case what I'm going to do is uh, use my OptiView XG and you can see the little protocols flying around just a couple of IPs this trace file in particular that I want to use has some IPX in there I've also got another one with some OSPF and, I, and again I just want to see how other tools report on errors or that kind of traffic so you come over here to uh, bit twist sourceforge.net and if you just just google bit twist you'll find it in three seconds um, I'm gonna do it on Windows here obviously you can use it on Mac and Linux but on Windows uh, it's kind of deceiving but when you move your mouse over this file name that is a link for the file name so you get this zip file and you just unzip it basically it's all you have to do um, uh, that's basically it really if you need uh, this file here cygwin1.zip uh, if you don't know if you need it just go get this it's a zip file with one file in it uh, so cygen comes comes off that zip file and just put it into where the executable is for bit twist just throw it in that folder uh, because more than likely if you don't have that you'll you'll need it if you've already got it don't worry about it uh, if you understand what I'm talking about then just don't worry about it at all uh, so that's it so now I've unzipped bit twist I've unzipped Sigen, and guess what that's it <laughs> that's really it so let's go to the command prompt here and if you do bit twist dot exe dash D people will remember this from T shark uh, it will display or dump your interface list out in this case I'm going to use my interface number one which is my Ethernet so bit twist dash I space one and this is the trace file I want to use vingood dot pcap now I would strongly suggest if you've never done this before do not use an old trace file just capture something from scratch as a little test please save it as a pcap not pcap ng please pay attention to that uh, if all that works then great go get some old files and you can play with them but but do not jump to that step because they may not be compatible and the last thing is this dash m0 and what I'm doing is telling bit twist to ignore the delta times in the trace file and just dump it out immediately because I don't really care about those delta times in my trace file if I was capturing these packets with an analyzer I would not do this dash m space zero so that's it that's all there is to it so now what it's going to do it's going to dump this pcap file out my ethernet card with no delay so as you can see here again just to show you what it looks like going to press enter and bang there it goes and on this screen you can see there's the IPX and the net buoy from that trace file so now I can again even though I don't have an IPX network I can see that protocol uh, or if I actually want to see those hosts I can start digging into these hosts as well if I want to actually you know go into a little deeper that's it that's all there is to it so that's uh, bit twist and that's what I use it for have a good day Bye for now.